If you study the world long enough, you're going to learn about some legendary creatures that were said to have existed in the past. While our first instinct is to dismiss them, it's already been proven in the present and the past that some really unique creatures live in our world. What might surprise you, though, is that some creatures that live in our world today might have been tied to the legends of long ago. It's just that they're so rare, or sometimes live in such specific areas, that it's hard to know when they're real or not. Here now are 20 mythical creatures that exist in the wild. Number 20. Thorny Devil Given how many cultures refer to things as a devil or a demon or some similar thing, you might think that Thorny Devil is one of the most vile creatures in all the land, one that you should avoid at all costs if you value your life. Except that this mythical creature kind of gets a bad rap because of how it looks and sounds. If you don't touch the thing, it's hardly a threat to you. In actuality, the thorny devil is nothing more than a lizard that just so happens to be covered in thorny spines, the kind that are meant for defense against predators, not attacking people on the regular. To prove this, it's not that big. On average, it only gets to be about 8 inches in length, so it's not going to devour you whole or even sneak up on you. If you pay attention, you're going to see it, and furthermore, in terms of what it eats, it goes after ants. You know, the things that you only appreciate when you're not around them. And if you're still not convinced, the thorny devil has a very unique movement pattern where it goes forward and backward with very jerky movements, and it's so random that scientists can only guess why they do it. The belief is that they do it to confuse predators and thus ward them off even more. If anything, the thorny devil proves why we need to be careful about how we handle our myths, legends, and stories, because people tend to take these tales very seriously, even when they're not backed up by anything but superstition. Remember, that's why the wolf is so feared in our world and was almost wiped out. So let's cut this loser to break. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Foxes have many times played a role in mythology. In certain places like Japan, foxes are symbols of various things which include a powerful entity when it has nine tails, or a trickster that you should be wary of. However, in Scandinavia, some hunters were said to have taken pictures of this fox, and many are wondering if it's another creature from a possible legend. Now, I honestly can't say for certain as I don't know all the myths of that area. However, if this photo is to be believed, we can definitely say that it doesn't look like any fox we've ever seen. Just gaze at its head and you'll see why. While its shape is overall fox-like, the way that its hair grows around the face is very different than you would think. It almost looks human in how the hair parts are around it at points. Plus, the way the face looks intensity-wise makes it seem like a much more striking figure than most foxes. But what do you think? Could this be a legendary species? As always, let me know all about it in the comments down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Bald Ua Carey. A type of animal that we know exists in various forms is that of the monkey or primate. Sometimes they're big bulking brutes like a gorilla, and other times they're long and lanky things like the orangutan. Sometimes they're bloodthirsty monsters that will devour you if you provoke them. I'm talking about baboons here. I mean, have you not ever seen Disney's Tarzan? Anyways, even amongst that type of animal, there are special cases that can take you aback. And the bald Uakari is one of them. This is a primate from South America who's name I probably mispronounced, and as you can see, it looks different. Its features are a striking bald head and a bright red face, and many of those faces look flatter than they should, giving a human appearance at times. But what might be the most interesting thing about the species is why they have those red faces. Trust me, it's not going to be what you think. These monkeys are believed to have developed this unique color pattern of the face as a result of malaria, which is a common disease in their Amazon rainforest habitat. Those with bright red faces are considered to display healthiness, while those with more pale faces have definitely contracted malaria and lack the natural immunity to the disease. I told you you wouldn't expect it, and to be fair, I honestly 
probably don't think that animals with diseases, unless they're the ones who are carrying them or transmitting them. I think of malaria as something that humans should avoid, not primates, but sadly, the ones who don't display the red face, and thus have the malaria, are basically doomed to never have a mate. And since they can live up to 30 years, if not disturbed, that's a whole lot of time to be alone. Number 18. Blue Glaucus I just talked about a red creature, so let's get to a blue one. If you ever wonder what to look for in the ocean, the blue Glaucus might be one to look out for, as it'll definitely catch your eye. The species is also known as the blue dragon, but don't get any ideas about riding one of these things, because while it may look spread out, I sadly have to inform you that this thing only grows to be one inch in length. Sorry, but you could pretend that it's big enough to ride. Also, you might be thinking about what kind of creature it actually is. The answer to that is sea slug. Not what you would picture when you hear the name blue dragon. These beings live in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans, and they're quite distinctive, but they're also quite clever in how they defend themselves. For example, the reason that they have that bright color scheme is not to look beautiful, but rather it reflects natural colors off the surface, meaning that from above, predators can't see it. And if they were to find it, it eats prey that gives it toxic properties, so that helps it to stay away as well. However, it is much scarier than you think. They store the stinging cells from things like Portuguese man-o-war, and then they're able to concentrate that sting so that it's actually more powerful than the thing that it took it from. Talk about a concentrated effort. Another cool thing about them is how they handle air. They have a sack on their body that's full of it so that they can stay buoyant. They also swallow air and literally ride upon the water. Number 17. Komodo Dragon Given that I just gave you a small dragon, it's only fair that I up the ante and give you a larger one. If you're looking for the biggest dragon in our world today, that would be the Komodo dragon. This impressive and frightening creature only lives on the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gimoting. Efforts to bring them to other parts of the world have been a bit mixed and try to put it in a zoo. It doesn't always work out. So why are these things called dragons, even though they can't fly or breathe fire? Well, they're the biggest lizard in the world right now, so there's that. They can get up to 10 feet in length and weigh over 150 pounds. And they're apex predators of their domain, and one of their hidden talents that is debated by the scientific community is that of whether or not they have toxic saliva. Yes, everyone's trying to debate how super deadly the dragon is. It's also interesting that despite their powerful natures, they do tend to shy away from humans when they arrive. Even full-grown adults will flee from a human if they get too close. So these clearly are not the dragons of lore, where they would attack and eat everything in sight. Not that we want such creatures in our lives, but I'm just saying, there's a difference between fantasy and reality. Sadly, because of their popularity, they've been sought after by many, and that has left them on the endangered species list. Hopefully, they'll get the protection they deserve, because it would be a shame if our only dragons were gone from this world. Number 16. Vampire Deer some of you might be questioning the validity of this next entry because when you picture deer in the present day, you think of them as having antlers on their head and not fangs in their mouth. But that right there is the twist in the story because the deer that you're thinking of are only a few species. Some species do have these fangs and it's a trait that's given to them by their ancestors. Musk and water deer, commonly lumped together as fanged or vampire deer, have long sharp canine teeth that even jut out past their lower jaw. That's not a thing that you see very often, but then again, how many deer species are honestly near your home? Before you start fearing the night and wondering if the next deer that you see is going to have fangs, there are some key details that you need to know. The first one is that much like the vampire bat, The name given to the deer are more about people being funny than them being accurate. The fangs that these vampire deer have are used to fight off other males and to try and attract a female. They don't openly attack humans with them because if they did, you'd have known about these deer a lot sooner. Going back through the years, you're going to notice that many deer species of ancient times had these fangs, and that's because they were very tiny compared to a lot of other animals. That also meant that they needed this kind of defense to stay alive. Surely enough, the vampire deer of this day and age are the same size, but the predators around them are not as big. Number 15. 
Chupacabra. I'm going to pivot for a minute because there are some mythical creatures out there that some people will swear are real, but the truth is much more basic. The legend of the chupacabra, or the goat eater, is one that spread through folklore and pop culture alike. Sightings have been reported in Puerto Rico since the 1970s, and this creature has since been reported as far north as Maine, as far south as Chile, and even outside of the Americas in countries like Russia and the Philippines. But when you dive into what the people said that it looked like, the descriptions never match up. Some say it is bestial, while others say that it's more like an alien. And when you dive even deeper into the stories behind the legend, you're going to find that they were already fueled by fear and paranoia. It all began in Puerto Rico in the town of Mocha. Livestock deaths were hitting the area hard, and many felt that a death cult was behind it, mainly because these animals were drained of their blood. Eventually, an animal was seen attacking the livestock, and it didn't look anything like the people had seen before, so when you add all the hysteria, a mysterious creature, and a bunch of blood-drained animals, well, you get the chupacabra. While many swear that the thing exists, scientists believe that it was a dog-like creature that was suffering from mange, and that's why nobody recognized it at first. Number 14. The Yeti Here's another creature that people believe is real, even though there's no hard evidence. The Yeti is one of the most well-known cryptid legends out there. It, or they, depending on the story or account, live in the mountains of the Himalayas, which is why their name comes from a Tibetan word. Tibetan lore describes three main varieties of the Yeti. The first one has a name I'm not going to try and pronounce, but it also has black fur and is the largest and fiercest, standing around 15 feet tall. The Chudi, which stands around 8 feet tall, lives 8,000 to 10,000 feet above sea level, and the Rang Shimbambo, which has reddish fur and is only 3 to 5 feet tall. So you can take your pick on which one you want to believe in. The reason that people believe in the Yeti is so profound because there have been many sightings and clues to its existence, allegedly. Typically, though, these are from people who are at high altitudes and may be blinded by the snow or even misinterpret the signs of other animals. The most common belief about what a Yeti actually is is that it's a bear. And there are bears that live in the mountains of the Himalayas and around Tibet, and they too come in different sizes. So when you add an imposing figure in the blanket snow and cold of a mountain range, people might see things that aren't really there, and it's a tale that is old as time. That's not to say that a Yeti couldn't exist, but it's not proven to be 100% real yet, so make out of it what you will. Number 13. The Kraken now we're going for the murderer's row of mythical beasts. The Kraken is one of the most important mythical beasts ever because it was described as one of the terrors of the sea back in the early days of sailing and exploration. Some of the more modern day tales of the beast comes from the 18th century via huge beasts that were said to have come from Norway. As the tales would continue to be told, a legend of the Kraken and its abilities would grow. It was said to be larger than the biggest of any ship, and its tentacles could actually crush boats without a second thought. Sailors feared meeting up with one of these beasts, as they would surely be taken down to the depths of Davy Jones's locker. There are plenty of pieces of art that depict the Kraken at work, but were they actually being seen out on the open ocean? The answer may be octopuses and squids. Remember that at one point in time, we didn't really know a whole lot about the creatures of the deep. They lived so far underwater at the time of the 18th century that they could only be monsters to the people who saw them. So if you did see one of these 40 to 60 60 feet long creatures, which some squids and octopuses are, they would indeed seem like a monstrous thing from the depths of the underworld. Despite our knowledge of these beings being more pronounced, there are some that still swear that the Kraken is real, and it is in places like Pirates of the Caribbean. Number 12. Ogopogo How about we talk about a Canadian monster? There have been many legends about monsters that live in the depths of the world, as we've just shown you, but it also applies to monsters in lakes, and the Ogopogo from Okagon Lake in Canada is a well-documented creature that many do believe exists. And when I say well-documented, I mean that there are loads of legitimate quality pictures and videos about the alleged serpent. Some even note that it's more convincing than the Loch Ness Monster has ever been. Ogopogo is often described as a dark, multi-humped thing with 
with green, black, brown, or even gray skin. The head is said to look like that of a snake, a sheep, a horse, a seal, or even an alligator, and usually that kind of variation would be enough to disprove a belief in creatures. But given that it's seen in a lake that can only play tricks on your eyes in regards to color, many do give it a pass. Also, it's a big tourist attraction, and they do sell a lot of merchandise that feature the creature, which is classic. Number 11. Frilled Lizard do you remember the scene in Jurassic Park where that one dinosaur expanded itself and then shot acid out at the evil scientist? You know, Newman? Yeah, while there have been some heavy debates about whether Spielberg and others did right by the dinosaurs and how they acted, that creature was based on a real lizard known as the frilled lizard, and it does the same kind of expansion with its neck. You see, when you look at the lizard in its base form, it doesn't look like much, but then when it's provoked, it's going to sprout out its frill, and suddenly it looks twice its size. Add to that the aggressive stance that it takes, and suddenly a predator will think twice about attacking it. Yet despite doing so, it only eats small creatures, so it's basically putting on a facade in order to get rid of unwanted guests. The frilled neck lizard is found mainly in the northern regions of Australia and southern New Guinea, so if you want one, you're going to have to go there or find a place that sells them. Number 10. Superb Bird of Paradise I want to start off by saying that's a wonderful name for a creature, the Superb Bird of Paradise. It's not setting the bar too high at all. But there's a reason the bird is superb, and it has to do with something not unlike what I just talked about with the frilled lizard. These males of the species are well known for their cape-like plumage, which they use in a unique mating ritual. When it performs the ritual, the feathers arrange themselves to look like a dark oval face with blue eyes and a smile, forming a smiley face. Of course, when you look at it for the first time, you're going to think that you're looking at a horrible monster, but apparently the ladies do love it. When it's not doing the ritual, the bird just simply looks normal. Number 9. Lowland Streaked Tenrec there are several places in the world that house a variety of unique creatures that you won't find anywhere else. The Lowland Streaked Tenric comes from Madagascar, and it does indeed have a look that very few can mimic. Those thistles on its back are actually sensory hairs, meaning that it helps it to be aware of its surroundings even more. Plus, the quills can be used to communicate with one another and make high-pitched sounds to make predators back off. It also has a heightened sense of smell that further helps it to know when predators are around. The point is, this creature has a wide variety of adaptations and evolutions that make it quite mesmerizing scientifically. Scientists have even said that it has such rare abilities at times that they don't know how or even why they have them at all. Number 8. Narwhal Known as the unicorn of the sea, the narwhal is one of those creatures that you look at and say, wait, that's a real thing? Not the least of which is because of its massive horn that literally sticks out of its body because it grows through the body. As in, it grows through the head and pierces everything without issue. It's disgusting. Narwhals live in groups of 10 to 20 individuals, but in the summer they come together in groups of hundreds or even thousands in order to migrate. Thousands of narwhals in one place is something I never want to see. Number 7. Saiga Antelope Now I won't make fun of the next creature for a very simple reason, because it'd be like kicking an animal when it's down. This antelope is a creature that's so rare that it's on the critically endangered species list, their numbers plummeted due to hunting, and they went from having multiple habitats to only having a few. But if you're fortunate, and I do mean real fortunate, you're going to find them in southwestern Russia, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia. The most outstanding feature of this antelope is its swollen snout, which it uses to warm up the air that it breathes in so that it can stay comfortable. Hopefully their population numbers stabilize, and poaching them is stopped so that they don't become extinct. Number 6. Tardigrade 
Do you want the good news or the bad news first? Well, the good news is that the tardigrade's a creature that you'll never see because it's microscopic. That means that they aren't really a threat to you. But the bad news is that if you look at them up close through a microscope and hear about what they can do, they're basically the creatures of your nightmares. First, they're frightening looking, which will make you glad they're microscopic. And secondly, they can survive basically anything. They've been frozen, dried up, shot into space, and many think that they could even survive a nuclear blast. This is the world we live in, where microscopic organisms are tougher than humans. Scientists are getting a kick out of them as they test them for various things, so at least their horrifying abilities are being put to good use. Number 5. Star-Nosed Mole there are plenty of creatures out there that have unique body parts compared to the standard model. We all know creatures with weird appendages, eyes, ears, and even their nose, and in this case I'm talking about the star-nosed mole. This is a mammal with 22 pink fleshy tentacles radiating from the nose in a star-like pattern. It's really creepy looking, but it does have a purpose scarily enough. Because the star-nosed mole is functionally blind, the snout was long suspected to be used to detect electrical activity in prey. Whether that's true or not is debatable. What is not debatable is that the nose and brain work so quickly that it's the fastest eating animal in the world. It knows within milliseconds if something is food or not, and then it'll go to town. In other words, the nose knows. Number 4. Mata Mata Turtle one thing that I've only lightly touched on in this video is creatures going to great lengths in order to blend in with their environment. I showed you one exactly with the blue dragon, but now here's another one with the Mata Mata turtle. While it may not feel mythical when you first look at it, its skills feel pretty legendary to me. You see, this turtle's whole deal is its camouflage. The appearance of the turtle's shell resembles a piece of bark, and its head resembles fallen leaves. As it remains motionless in the water, its skin flaps enable it to blend into the surrounding vegetation until a fish comes close. When its prey is in range, it's going to extend its head, open up its mouth, and then create a vacuum that will suck in everything. Oh, and it swallows the prey whole. What a boss. You wouldn't think that a simple turtle would be capable of all this, and yet the Mata Mata turtle does all of this and more. Number 3. Aardvark the animal known as the aardvark is one that feels like an amalgamation of other creatures. We can all think of other animals that fit that mold, can't we? You'll find these creatures in Africa, and their name translates to earth pig. One thing to note here is that though they eat ants, they are not actually ant eaters. That's a different species that lives on a different continent. What may surprise you though is the size of these creatures. They can be over 4 feet long and weigh up to 180 pounds, plus if they stuck out their tongue, that's another 12 inches to their length. And so, these creatures are more than you may expect based on their name and looks alone. Number 2. Megalania the Megalania is difficult to talk about because it appears to have existed in the past within the Australian outback. The problem is that a full fossil has never been recovered, and there are some people who swear that the thing still lives in the outback now. It is the largest terrestrial lizard known to have existed, and if you think about that for a moment, it's said to have possibly been about 23 feet long and weighed over 4,200 pounds more than enough to make it one of the most dangerous things in the outback. As if all that wasn't scary enough, it appears to have also had a venomous bite, totally something that you'd want to hear from a beast four times the size of an average human. Thankfully though, most believe that it was wiped out long ago, possibly even by the aborigines who were the first settlers in the outback, to which we can all say thank you very much. Number 1. Platypus Remember how I said the aardvark was like other animals that we knew about because of the hodgepodge of parts? Well, here's another one of those. The platypus is a creature that's so bizarre and weird looking that it became a myth unto itself because people just don't understand how the thing can naturally exist. The platypus has a paddle-shaped tail like a beaver, a sleek furry body like an otter, and a flat bill and webbed feet like a duck. When it was first discovered and brought to the other scientists, they actually thought it was fake. 
just as crazy, this is one of only a handful of mammals that have venom within it. Yes, really, the male have a spur that can inject venom into you. It won't kill you, but it's going to absolutely hurt. It'll also hurt just trying to figure out the platypus in general. So this is where the video is going to end. That's all from the realm of the far reaches of our world to show off mythical creatures that live within them. Which of them do you think is the most amazing? And which ones would you like to meet in your own life if you got the chance? Are there any other so-called mythical creatures that should be on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you!